times have you actually wondered what kind of books you possess? Have you ever thought about their value? Today, at the UBFC Investments on Friends, we will explore a self-owned book that turned out to be an unknown treasure for the owner. For a fair description of said treasure, Victoria Malik will provide the information based on her experience. This book, titled Dictionnaire des Portraits Historiques, Anecdotes et Très Remarquables des Hommes Illustrés, is the first tome of a collection of four books from the 18th century that presents the main information of an extended amount of outstanding people on various fields such as politics, arts, philosophy and medicine. The book has 572 pages. It's in contemporary cup binding. It's rather well preserved. However, we can see some damage in the front cover. There is also some slight damage on the back cover and in the corners of the book. The spine of the book is divided in six raised bands, as we can see here, each with golden florins. It contains a title piece, the number of the volume. Also, we can see some slight damage on the top spine end. However, it doesn't represent a problem because we can easily handle the book and open it and flip the pages. The table of contents indicates the names of people from A to E. Here we read the name of Alexandre le Grand, the Alexander the Great, the king of the Kingdom of Macedonia. Although much can be said about him, the description of the book recognizes him as an ambitious leader who had a great set of advantages in his life that make him greater than his virtues as a person could have. We also can find here the name of Archimedes, the Greek mathematician, physicist, engineer, inventor and astronomer regarded as one of the leading scientists in the classical antiquity. We see other names such as the one of Francis Bacon, although the book here shows a story more than the biographical information of him. Finally, one of the names that most caught my attention was the one of Cleopatra, the last active ruler of Ptolemaic Kingdom of Egypt. Although the book had so far named mainly famous men, here we find a woman who is given as much importance as any other man from the list of this book. And you? Have you ever thought about the treasures you may have on your personal library? We invite you to find them out. Thank you for joining us on this adventure.